Okay, if you have a China diesel, silent diesel, whatever, that's brushless, which means you have a capacitor for your voltage regulator, and it lets you down right when you really need it, I'm going to try and come up with a walk-you-through-it process for replacing that part. Now, the all the air is drawn from the engine side of the generator, pulled through the assembly, and it goes out to cool the exhaust system. So, of course, you have to take off the muffler to get the into the back end of the generator, the actual electrical end of it. So, you have to start by taking off the top portion of the muffler, this section right in here, slow and easy. So you've got a bolt there, and you've got a coupling here. Be gentle to the gasket. Once that's removed, that's going to expose to you the coupling that goes onto the manifold coming off the generator so you can remove the bottom section. Uh, you can see there's a nut back in there that holds it, and it, there's a nut over here. Uh, get to that next. Okay, I've got the top muffler off. You can see the exposed head bolts in the back. Um, these, I think, are 10 millimeter. These right there. Yeah, it's metric. You're going to need sockets, and you're going to need box ends. I'm just telling you. Okay. My gasket came off pretty nicely. Hey, I'm happy. Gasket came off nicely. Propping the muffler there. Now I'm going in after that portion. I'm also going to go and recharge the battery on my phone so that it doesn't slow me down. Okay, so we're well on our way. Okay, I now have the lower muffler assembly removed. One thing you'll notice too is I try to put bolts back where they go as much as possible so I don't lose them. You know, you might consider that. Now we have to take off this entire end cap assembly, which is why the bolts that I had in there aren't there because they kind of hold it in anyway. So I'm going to grab a socket, and I'm going to pop that off. Now, if you've never done work like this before, start from the bottom and work your way up. If you start loosening from the top and you work your way down, by the time you get to the bottom one, it falls on top of you. Um, shout out to Frank Nagel, old buddy. Watched it happen. We all learned. We all felt sorry for him because we'd have done the same thing. Okay, here I go. Okay, now I've got the back end of the generator. I've got the exhaust system removed. I've pulled off the side panel. Um, all that heat insulation, sound deadening stuff is exposed. You know, is gone now. And now you get a chance to take a look at. There's your fuel tank. Pretty cool. You know, you always knew it was there. Fuel tank, exhaust, the battery, the other side of the battery that you hate. And there's the working end of the generator. That is the thing that makes... Okay, very quickly, back ends off. You can see the fuel tank. You can see the battery. You can see into the engine area. Most of all, you can see the end of the generator. There's the part we're taking out, that black item. So I have to undo those two end screws to remove the shield to get to the part. I'm running out of memory, so I'm moving fast. Okay. Hey, no one said this was going to be easy. Anyway, I undid the little bolt over there. There's two. One on top, one on the bottom. Removed the old part. Installed the new part. Just ran downstairs. This part was tested before I'm putting it in. It was intolerance. The old one, way out of tolerance. Too low. So, I feel better about going through all this work to replace it. Um, of course, I'm not going to know until I put it all back together again. So my next piece of video that you're going to see is going to be me testing that capacitor um, using a multimeter. Um, I, I'll, even a low-end multimeter usually can check a capacitor for you. So well, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Anyway, oh, there you go. So I got to get that back in there. By the way, the leads going to the capacitor are not polarity sensitive. You don't have to worry about which one goes where. Don't sweat it. Just just don't cut yourself on this metal because I couldn't take it out entirely without unbolting all those connections which are sensitive. So 
yeah, just jam my hand in there and bleed a little bit. All right, later.